Welcome to Angola. Right now we're off the coast and we're wrecking ships with the boys. I've never wrecked a ship before, but we're gonna learn. Look around. It's a rusty death trap. <laughs> Angola is a little known country in the south of Africa. It only really opened to tourism in 2019 after a horrible 27 year civil war ended in 2002. And since, no one really comes here. When I discover new countries, Google Maps is always a great start. And we found this a ship graveyard. There was a road, and also, look at this. Giant spires of decay, an urban explorer's dream. Steel behemoths eroding on a forgotten coast like titans from an ancient age. I like that stuff. But first, sponsors make these adventures possible. So give some love to ours today. See, I'm not always in the jungle. Sometimes I hang out next to potted plants. Let me share with you the reason why the channel's called Fearless and Far. It's not because I'm fearless. That's not true. I was born perhaps more fearful than most people. It's just that over the years I've taken the time to understand them, to befriend them, and now we mostly collaborate on YouTube. I guess also I've been able to understand that whenever I don't feel great, for myself it's usually brain fog. It's because there's a whole tempest of unnamed stress and pressure floating around in my head. And I've also learned that if I can speak to someone about it, like a therapist, it's a godsend. And that's why this video is sponsored by BetterHelp, the world's largest therapy service, and it's completely online. To get started, you answer a few questions about who you are, how you feel, and how you'd like to speak to someone. Text, phone, video chat, and that way, BetterHelp can match you with your right therapist out of its network of over 30,000 across the world. I chatted with a therapist who was able to bend to my crazy schedule, and we worked on a few things and a few perspectives of the challenges in my life that I hadn't really thought of before. She was a good fit for me, but if your therapist isn't the right fit for you, you can change with no additional cost. And as well, I realized I spend so much time training my body for these expeditions and adventures. Life can even be quite an expedition and adventure, can't it? But I don't spend anywhere near as much time working on my mind. If you're feeling this, go to betterhelp.com slash fearlessandfar to get 10% off your first month of therapy and get matched with a therapist who will listen and will help. Another day, another adventure. Bouncing around a four x four here in the front trying to find a secret location for a beach filled with shipwrecks. Google Maps is our best friend because these roads haven't seen a lot of work. Thank God for four, four wheels and our driver here. Just up ahead, I think we'll be able to hike down. Never quite know though. It's always the most exciting part. We arrive at the coast, expecting towers of rusty metal, but it was nothing like we saw from the satellite images. They had been chopped up, cut, clipped like a tall poppy. It's definitely not the first time I've arrived somewhere to see that it's gone. It's a job hazard of always trying to find new adventures to show you all. Damn. But then the adventure came to us. A bunch of shipwrecks come in a cart, hauling the scrap metal they pillaged for the day. The language they're speaking is Portuguese. Why? Because of 400 years of Portuguese colonization. This country has had it rough. It's sharp, yeah? Look at this here. Is this from, uh, this is from this? This is the scrap metal from the ships. Down there. Yeah? This? Yes, yes. yes. With, uh, with what? Mascarico, 
Put it down there. Yeah, it pass it. So you don't hit your. Yeah. If you wear this, yeah. And you're walking. <laughs> you walk in a ship. Yeah, you like it? <laughs> you don't hit your head on a, on a razor blade. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, well. Okay. It must be a pain in the ass yeah, though to okay, uh, yeah, but, but see, Oh, it's for you and the motorcycle. But the motorcycle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it must be a pain in the ass to drive this scooter basically through the sand. This is one of many areas across the world where giant vessels, some a thousand feet long, are left abandoned on the coast. But why? Many countries have strict environmental rules for the disposal of ships because of all the hazardous materials they're made of, like asbestos, lead paint, and leftover oil and fuel. You can't just dump a ship that's falling to pieces anywhere you want. You have to do it in a country where you won't get caught, like Angola. But these ships are still made of valuable materials, like steel, aluminum, and copper. All can be recycled and sold, legitimately, or on the black market. So all of this scrap metal here is about, let's say, 40, 40 US dollars for all this. All cut by hand by these boys, and the metal also cut back because this guy's like, shit. It's like, it's like a centimeter deep. The boys were done for the day, but they say there's a few more groups down on the beach. But due to the shady nature of their work, they probably won't want to be on camera. Not wanting to piss anyone off, I keep the camera incognito. We meet another group just finishing, and they ask if we have any cigarettes. I've got, uh, I've got some little cigarillos. We're just trying to make friends here, that's all we're doing. We're in a remote place. We're just trying to be friendly. The peace pipe strategy always works. We make friends. Ben grabs some quick shots. Okay shows the boys how badass they look and gets their names. Qual é seu nome? Souza. Prazer. E você? Mateus. Souza e Mateus. Ben e Mike. I ask if we can see what they do and we head back down to the beach. This here, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Pressed gas. Oh, it's oh, it's homemade welding equipment. Holy wow. shit. Like this. And on the bottles and then... They fire up what's left in their oxygen tanks and give us a little demo of how it works. <laughs> it's the end of the day. The tank has no pressure and it won't cut. But that leads us to the next adventure. We had a few apprehensions in the beginning. We came down to this beach in the middle of frickin' nowhere. There was a bunch of guys. We thought maybe, we didn't know, we didn't wanna get too involved with trouble, but over and over again, the biggest hearts are in the farthest away places. But they said there's actually somebody over there in the shipwreck cutting at this moment. The problem is, if you look, it's, it's offshore. We uh, are gonna have to swim through a rusty metal labyrinth to be able to then board a sunken, rusty vessel uh, and then find a man who has a torch in the water. Ben, do you have a tetanus shot? All right, I do too. Uh, <laughs> let's hope it's up to date. We walk down the beach and they start yelling at the other crew cutting the shipwreck out in the ocean. Souza has made himself our guide and keeps checking in on us to make sure we're doing okay. Uh huh, yeah, look at it go. Very strong. That's right. 
tem que ser tudo nas calmas. Uhum. Ou, ou vamos fazer, avisamos nos homens daqui de, de perto, que é para nós ir depois de lá. Porque que, que passa um, uhum. eles podem vir falar, não, que eles daqui já avisam, já não. Uhum. Nós podemos regressar, mora já. Ok, perfeito. Hum? Vamos dar. Aqui é água, molhar a calçada. Ok, very deep water. Yeah, here. Ok, ok, not bad. I think how it works is each uh, group of guys has a, a turf or, or a wreck. And these are our friends here, Manuel and the guys. They work the one over there, and now this one here, uh, there's someone else working it now. I'm not sure if it's kind of like first come, first serve every day, or what the deal is, but he's gonna come with us to, uh, to show us the way. And I think he said, if the guy doesn't want us there, then we gotta come back. And the guy, when a guy's got a flamethrower, you generally want to listen to him. We were warned. Uh, we were warned to be careful because there's lots of rusty iron hidden in the murky green water. It looks like pea soup. Shit, man. We're gonna be like ants. Our feet are gonna be antenna. Ai ferro, yeah. Like this. Yeah, yeah. Where? 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 Okay. So you, you first, and we go. Nada. Yeah, nada. 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 Pra chegar até lá. Hell nada, yeah, buddy. Nada. A não for. Mas eles lá não entram a nada. Chapa, chapa. Chapa de motor. É que é Maybe. de madeira, de madeira. Ah. Eles podem usar de madeira. Got it. Eles têm que ir na pesca. The fish pesca? Yeah, yeah. Metem lá os ferros, levam até saurico, saurico. We're, uh, I got bits and pieces. Between French, English and Spanish, the three languages I speak, I get 15% of Portuguese. But uh, we're gonna swim. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Uh, this is our first water adventure together, Ben. Yeah, mate. When, uh, when is it a good time to tell you I can't swim? <laughs> it was like 30 minutes ago before we signed up for this death trap. <laughs> yeah, we'll go in. Yeah, this, yeah, this can go in the water. Yeah, it's waterproof. No, no problem. No, no problems, no problems. Yeah, 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 waterproof. And also, uh, this is waterproof. We've got some nicer camera gear in there. Also, yeah. doubles as a flotation device. I'm really trusting you that this is waterproof. It's been a while since I tested it. I wouldn't dunk it too deep. Okay. This is gonna be slipping. Follow behind. The boys are barefoot, but uh, I don't trust it. Okay. I prefer to come back with 10 toes. I've done a lot of wild stuff on this channel. Baboon hunting, running from military police, one came with a gun, scarification, but swimming out in a rough ocean through a sunken maze of rusty knives might be one of the craziest things we've done. Needless to say, we take it slow. I love, they're, they're keeping their feet out of the water, man, like, like synchronized swimmers. Should we not be walking with our feet? I didn't wake up this morning. <laughs> Thinking I'd be swimming out to a rusty mess. But now it's the best thing I've done in a long time. <clears throat> really trying to keep my knees and my hands away from the bottom. Okay. The ledge here? Yeah. Nothing there. Okay. Yo, look at this. So sick, mate. Also up there, you can see all the tanks of oxygen. Yeah? The uh, uh, oxygen. Yeah, for welding. All right, Ben, lead the charge, man. You ready? Yeah, don't get decapitated. Jumping in, how was it? Yeah, fine, Jumping man. in the dark. Sweet. Yeah, we gotta swim, man. <laughs> Bro, the ocean's got some current, yeah? Especially between these shipwrecks. It's like artificial channels, the water just churns you around like a washing machine. <laughs> we arrive at the wreck without any puncture wounds, somehow, and we board the vessel. <laughs> <laughs> People ask what Mr. Fearless and Far is afraid of. Is it kidnapping? Is it being mugged? 
He traveled to so far away places, so many of them. Let me tell you, it's car crashes, not living a life well lived, and infected cuts. <laughs> I'm being serious though. It's the real, real problems out there. And right now, trying to uh, really avoid one of my greatest fears. The guys just uh, threw us down a rope. Hey boys, <laughs> we made it. I was a bit worried whether they'd be down to be on camera, but hey. arrival causes some excitement. The boys here are still hard at work, cutting away the steel and piling it up to be sold. This kind of work is tough. I ask how they get the oxygen tanks out here, and then they show me how heavy they are. Oh. Hey! Cool, cool! It's gotta weigh like 150 pounds. <laughs> Todos dias, todos dias, every day. King Hellman. King Hellman. King Hellman. Isso. Obrigado, não mete botão daí que é isso. That's how you light a cigarette right now. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening right now. Yelling and screaming starts to break through the sound of cutting metal. I'm confused to what's going on, but then I realize that this boat is here for pickup. Boat's here, I guess. That means uh, work day is almost over for these guys. Except for first, we gotta move all of this into the boat. Then from there, that goes back to shore. Hey, brother, it's good. It's so good. How are you? We man double day. I am fine. I'm so fine too. I'm so fine too. This is Angola. Angola is magic. Angola is magic. All this in the boat. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see it. All right. Things, things always quickly erupt into chaos. It's a kind chaos, though. It's kind. 
so much rusted metal. Dá para te dar para não visitar? Não, amigo. Não, não, não só, não só. All right, all right. Calma, calma. Rápido, calma. About a mile away and in the middle of the ocean, they tell us this is our stop. Nadar, Nadar, All right. Thanks for the uh, rose. Thanks for the lift. Thank you. <laughs> Ciao Genzi! Yes. Oh, regalo! No Wish me luck! <laughs> Good night! Goodbye! <laughs> Good luck at the market! <laughs> oh hell yeah! I can't believe we started the day! A little bit timid, <laughs> a little shy, a little scared to meet these people. In just a few short hours, we all became best friends. <laughs> Cut some metal, smoked some green stuff, all of that. Now swimming back to the beach. Man, that was definitely one of the most authentic, no, perhaps the most authentic travel experience that I've had. And I think I can say the same for Ben. Ben? Yeah. All right, he's not drowning. <laughs> the thing is, you gotta take a little risk sometimes to have the best stories. But more often than not, all of your fears are just fabricated. Isn't that right? Welcome to Fearless and Far. My name is Mike. This is the most adventurous channel on YouTube. The trip was put together by my friend Obed from Kumbo Kumbo Tours. He was guarding our stuff on land. And you met Ben. He's here too, helping me shoot it. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next adventure on Fearless and Far. If I make it back. <laughs>